Hello everyone. Here we are having a logarithmic equation with the third of 24th order. So let us see that how do we solve this equation. To solve this equation, first we notice that the complete expression is equal to 0 and it can be so only when the expression inside the brackets is equal to unity irrespective of the base of the log. This observation makes 64 into 24th root of 2 raised to the power x square minus 40x to be equal to 1. We transfer 64 on the right hand side and the right hand side becomes equal to 1 by 64. And 64 can also be expressed as the power of 2. With this, the equivalent equation becomes 24th root of 2 raised to the power x square minus 40x is equal to 1 by 2 raised to the power 6. Now we can take 24th power of both the sides to remove the third sign. By taking 24th power of both the sides, the expression becomes 2 raised to the power x square minus 40x is equal to 1 by 2 raised to the power 6 whole raised to the power 24. This can also be expressed as 2 raised to the power x square minus 40x is equal to 1 by 2 raised to the power 6 into 24 as the indices get multiplied and 1 raised to the power 24 is always unity. This can be further simplified as 2 raised to the power x square minus 40x is equal to 1 by 2 raised to the power 144. We bring 2 from the denominator to numerator on the right hand side and the expression becomes 2 raised to the power x square minus 40x is equal to 2 raised to the power minus 144. Since the bases on both sides of the equal sign are equal, so the indices also must be equal. This condition gives us x square minus 40x is equal to minus 144. We bring all the terms on the left hand side to get a quadratic equation as x square minus 40x plus 144 is equal to 0. This equation can be solved through factorization and it is expressed as x square minus 36x minus 4x plus 144 is equal to 0. We can take x common from the first two terms and minus 4 common from the last two terms to get x into x minus 36 minus 4 into x minus 36 is equal to 0. x minus 36 can be taken common from whole of the equation. To get x minus 36 into x minus 4 is equal to 0. With this expression, either x minus 36 can be equal to 0 or x minus 4 is equal to 0. For x minus 36 is equal to 0, the value of x comes as equal to 36 and for x minus 4 is equal to 0, the value of x comes as x is equal to 4. When both these values are verified against the original equation, it is found that x is equal to 36 as well as x is equal to 4. Both satisfy the given equation and hence these two are the solutions of the given equation. Thanks for watching.